everyone, it's Kylie Batucci, Stampin' Up! Demonstrator in Australia. I feel really short today. I think my seat has gone down. Hang on, I need to lift myself up. <laughs> oh, that's better. How is everyone? I've got lots to show you today, as always. Always exciting things happening around here. So I've got to make sure I've got everything in front of me. Come on in. Thank you, everyone. Jump on in. Thanks for being here. Sorry I'm a couple of minutes late. I was chatting to Bruno. He just got home. I wanted to debrief. And make sure you say hello when you jump in. Excellent. I can see comments as well. Good afternoon, Kathy. Well done on the little... Um, <laughs> no, I was very like... I feel very low down here. <laughs> Hi, everyone. <clears throat> So there's a lot of things happening in the world of Stampin' Up! As always, there's lots of exciting things to share with you. To my lovely customers who have ordered with me in the last six months, you should have... Oh, hello, Bruno Petitia. I didn't think you were jumping on. Um, my customers that have ordered with me in the last six months, they will have received an email from me saying, well done. Thank you very much for being so loyal. I'll be sending you a catalogue. Um, if you did not receive that email, just message me if you think that there's been an error because sometimes the emails don't go through, sadly. Hi, Mandy. Hey, Patricia, jump on in. Great to see you. Uh, but I have sent out that email, so just check your inbox. Hi, Tracy. I'm pretty sure you were one of them on that list, Tracy. Yes, in fact, you were. I remember it now because I was like, oh, Tracy's a demonstrator. And then I'm like, no, she's coming back as my customer. So I changed it and made sure you're getting a catalogue. Hi, Ellen. Hey, Sally. Firstly, I wanted to thank you all very much for all your Bow Easy orders. Huh, you're keeping me busy sending Bow Easies. Um, I, I can see why, though. They're pretty cool. So thank you to everyone who's placed an order for those. It's still in my um, little Facebook store, little shop. So if you wanted that one, $6 in Australia and $10 for overseas for as many as you like. It doesn't change the postage. I've calculated it so that it will cover postage fine. Um, but yeah, thank you very much for all of those orders. And also I'll be putting up a link because there's this one here as well. If you wanted this card kit. Yeah, watch. just keep watching the tutorial. I did it on YouTube so that you can save it. And then just keep doing it because it, you do feel very much all thumbs and fingers the first time you do the bow easy. Um, and I was a bit rusty the other day too. So I was like, oh, how do I do this again? But once you get the rhythm and you find the little routine, then it doesn't take long to pick up at all. But yeah, it's cool to have six different size bows. It's really good. And uh, this is my card kit for this month, the True Gentleman Designer Series paper. So you get six pre-cut cards and then the six card, like the actual paper for the front of the card. And that's $10 for all six. So I'll put up the link for that if you want those. And for my lovely customers who order with me using the current host code, well, pretty much this month, then you get this for free. Freebie! Ah, oh, who loves a freebie? Me! <laughs> So because this is my Love It Chop It kit, a lot of you are in my Love It Chop It workshop already. If you're not, please jump in because it's epic. It's going so crazy. Everyone's inspiring one another to chop, chop, chop. And oh good, I'm glad it arrived today, Tracy. That's excellent. And it's just a really nice group. Like we're helping each other to make sure that we don't hoard our designer series paper and to use it. And I actually created this thanks to the lovely Sarah Berry from the UK for her idea. And I know there's other demonstrators that have done it too. But I used my wood mount. Oh, you made a live show. Hey, Cara. How are you going, Cararina? Good to see you. We all love free. Yes, I agree, Bev. We all love free. <laughs> Good to see you, Jessica. Hey, Kayla. So this is what I made. <clears throat> it is going viral. <laughs> I agree, Dobber. <laughs> it's very exciting, the Love It Chop It workshop. So I made this little, um, it's just the PDF of this printout, but you can put it in your wood mount case because it fits perfectly. And I've done it for A4 and letter size. And it just means that you can store all of your amazing designer series paper. I don't have any in here because I used it straight away. 
on my cards. <laughs> I actually need to chop some more. But yeah, it would fit perfectly inside here. In fact, I think you could probably, looking at the size, you could probably put maybe two in here. But anyway, we'll, we'll have a look. Yes, a thousand people have subscribed, which is amazing. I know this is beautiful, this. This is Playlist. <clears throat> and there's a Playlist Caps as well, which is beautiful. They're one of our favourites. If you love your paper, chop your paper. That's how we do it. So, yes, jump on there. It would be great to see more um, getting in and using their designer series paper. There's lots of different ideas. I kept it really simple, and I've just shown how to do the simple card front and just to show you how to make the most out of your 12 by 12 so that you're getting every little last scrap piece used, including because I on the inside of my cards. Hey, Narelle, good to see you. On the inside, I even use the small scraps. For the design on the inside oh thanks christy and then even this one here on on the um inside i've got the the wider one as well that you can use on the inside so or every single piece every little bit of the piece of 12 by 12 gets used yes good segue bruno do you like the new tidy tidy up here i'm very fortunate to have a very organized and um, diligent husband. Look, he's even done the top for me. He cleaned my room for me. He actually was going to move this case, bookcase here, on top of this here, but he said it was very unsafe. So he moved it back again. <laughs> but it looks a lot neater, so I'm very excited. Hey, Rochelle, good to see you. Good afternoon, Narelle. Hopefully you got my Go For Grace email this afternoon or this morning. Lots of exciting news in that for our Go For Grease training group. So let me show you some of the cool things. Actually, first I have an announcement. I'm very excited about this announcement. I forgot about this announcement. Hey, good to see you. I applied, not thinking anything would ever happen, but I thought, you know what, I've got to put myself out there. I keep telling my team and for my Go For Grease girls, um, yes, the paper does look much nicer. I keep telling them to push themselves out of their comfort zone and try new things. Um, and I thought, you know, how can I say to them to do that if I'm not doing it myself? So Stampin' Up! contacted demonstrators worldwide. I think there's about 40,000 of us now. And said, would you like to apply for a Stamparatus blog hop that is a Stampin' Up! based one and Stampin' Up! we're going to choose and select the people in the hop. And I thought, you know what? Why not? I'm going to do it. Put my name down. Nick Minute, guess what? I got an email saying I'm in the Stampin' Up! blog hop. Yay! <laughs> so check it out for this week. I'm pretty sure, I, I meant to get the date before I had a look, but I'm pretty sure it's like the 28th of this week like 28th, 27th, anyway, it's this month. Um, I've been very busy making sure that I get something really cool that I know will help you with the Stamparatus. And I know what's exciting too is the people that I'm hopping with. I won't give away their news, but the people that I'm hopping with, it's pretty amazing. I'm like, starstruck. It's really exciting. <clears throat> oh, you missed that email. Oh. I should have put it on the group too. Yes, I'm very excited. So it's the first time I've done like a Stampin' Up! Um, sort of designed blog hop, which is really cool to do something a little bit different. Thank you for my thumbs up, Bruno. You're too cute. You're such a good man. So we want to show you some of the cards that we did this week. Hey, Carrie, good to see you. This was one of them here. Now, don't get sad because, you know, it won't be long till you'll be able to get it. But this one was using the brand new vellum stunza. This vellum is so beautiful. It's from the new new catalog, new annual catalog. No, artisan team, no. <laughs> I think I'm too busy. <laughs> I know how much work they do. The beautiful Kayla, who's in my team, she's on, on this live at the moment. And also Louise Sharp. Um, I talk regularly to Alison Okamitsu too, and they tell me how much work it is. And I'm like, you know what? I don't know if I have enough time for artisan. You know, you can't do it all, right? 
and I want to make sure I look after my team and look after my go for grease people and look after my customers. So yeah, it probably would end up breaking my marriage if I did artisan. <laughs> it's a big job. Yeah, Rochelle knows too. <laughs> I don't think people realize how much work goes into it and how often there's like last minute type things that they need to do, different promotions. Kayla's work is stunning. I agree. So yes. Yeah, there's, there's Kayla. She said it's amazing, but yes, it's challenging. <laughs> you thought that was what the announcement was. <laughs> And it would actually be quite challenging for me to be an artisan because um, I don't celebrate all events. So I don't do Christmas. I don't know if you guys have noticed it, but I don't do Christmas and we don't do um, Mother's Day. We don't do, like, literally we don't do any main events that most people do because of our religious beliefs. And so that would be quite challenging an artisan. I don't know if we would be the right fit because <laughs> there's a lot of birthdays, Christmas, Easter, all that sort of thing. So, yeah, sometimes we just have to know our little place, what's our little wheelhouse, and work within that. And it doesn't mean you can't be successful. I'm sure people thought if I said, do you think I can be successful? I don't celebrate any main events. Do you think I'd be okay? They would have been like, nah, you're going nowhere, love. Just give up now. <laughs> but it can still work. You can still work within your own belief system and, yeah, still make it work, which is kind of cool. That's what I love about Stampin' Up. So, yes, we have to find our thing, right? <laughs> so this was a beautiful one. This is using Stampin' Blends. And don't be sad. I know that you can't get the Stampin' Blends at the moment. But... They are coming back. They are coming. End of May. So not much longer. You've got one month left to wait. But make sure you put it on your shopping list so that you're ready to, to grab it when you when um, they come live. Oh, thank you, Kayla. You're a sweetie. We all do what we can. Not, you should never let anything limit you. If someone says to you, no, that will limit you. You know, look at all these amazing people that, you know, paraplegics and all these incredible things that they go through and they're like, no, nah, I can still do it. I'm going to go to the Olympics. It's like if they could do it, we can all do our own thing, can't we? We just work within what, what works for us. These ones were super, super cute. Oh, my goodness. Look at these. So I was casing the amazing um, Martha. I always said, Bruno would know how to say it better because he can speak a little bit of German. But I think it's Groga. Groga? Is that right, Bruno? I'm not very good with German. Give me Japanese and I'll be better. But these are super, super adorable. Look at this kangaroo with the cute little koala on the inside. And I used the, um, the petal palette for the ground and for the little branch here. And you would never think of using this stamp set. I'm just grabbing it, sorry. You would probably never think of using this stamp set for the for the trees. And then this was the, the little road bit here. This bit here. So yeah, it's amazing what you can get from different stamp sets. And this is called... It's coming to me. Animal... Seriously, brain freeze. Anyway, I'll have a look later because it's very, very cute, this one. And, of course, did I put it away? Yes. Crazy Kylie. Anyway, someone will say, yes, animal outings. Thank you, Joanne. That's the one. So that's that one there. And that was thanks to Martha for the, um, for the inspiration on that one. And that one there, he's so cute. Little rhino. Together we make. Ah, oh, I'm back. It froze for a moment there, and I'm like, oh, I don't know what's about to happen. I didn't know if it was a phone call or whether it was just going to crash, crash and burn. And some of you already saw my video this week. Check it out if you didn't on my Facebook page. But I jumped on and made these with everyone because I thought it would be so much fun to make it with someone rather than on my own. 
So this one, <laughs> Wild About You. <laughs> are you questioning that, Bruno? Is it for you? <laughs> um, so these are actually the really cute Memories of More uh, little note cards. So this is the cards and envelopes. And so you just get the Memories of More cards and stick it on just like that. And there's really cute little envelopes that go with it as well. So these are a really fun, super quick project. And I was able to do, I didn't show this one on the video, but I was able to do this one as well. And this was another one of the Memories and More cards that came in the pack. This is a brand new pack of Memories and More. And I've got the, yeah, Delightfully Detailed. That's the one there, Memories and More card pack. So that's coming up in the new catalog. But you can do this with the, um, any of the Memories and More range, because they've got the perfect size. This is four by six, and then they've got the envelope to go with it. And what I love about this sentiment is this was actually one of the smaller Memories and More cards, and I just cut it and made it the sentiment. So this was literally just stick, stick, and it was very, very quick. So if you're running short of time, these are brilliant. Look out for them in the new annual catalogue. It's called the Memories and More Cards and Envelopes. I ordered them and I was like, ah, I don't really know what they are, but I'll have a look. I was very, very pleasantly surprised when I saw what they were. Now, the other thing that I have to show you today, have I shown you everything so far? I think so. I don't think I've forgotten anything, is this card here. It hasn't been on my blog yet, so you're all the first to see it. Yes. Revealing here live. Actually, I lie. I did take it to a training day for Stampin' Up! on Saturday. So some of our Silver Elite and above in Victoria did see it. <laughs> so it has been, it has had an outing. But here is the brand new, in every season, stamp set that I've used on this. This is the stamp set here. This was one of the stamp sets that Brio and I won. And on stage, Stanza, look at those beautiful flowers. So I thought that I would just make like a little background with it, with a little highlighted accent of the flowers. And this is what we're going to make together today. However, I'm going to be using my favorite color of all time that I'm so happy is back. Yes, you guessed it. Mint macaron. Oh. Everyone's jumping back in. It must have crashed on all of you too. Yes, I'm loving this. So this is very monochrome, but of course you could use the exact same style and make it nice and bright or yeah, anything you like. It's a very, very simple layout. So please feel free to case. Now I'm gonna flip you around and I'm gonna show you because I'm actually using a different sentiment. You knew, Alia, you knew it was mint macaron. So the stamp set that I'm going to use today, and I'm not using this stamp set just so that I can say it, because I do really like this stamp set. The name, however, yes, we're all just adjusting to it here in Australia. We will get over it eventually. But I am using Rooted in Nature. I can't even say it without saying it with Rooted in Nature. I have to say it like Miranda. Has anyone watched Miranda? <laughs> she would say it like that. <laughs> and the sentiment that I want to use on my card today that I'm making with you is you are wonderful because you are. You really are wonderful. Thank you for being so wonderful. <laughs> you knew it. <laughs> yes, I knew it would keep Jessie happy. <laughs> <laughs> we have a lot of different names for this one <laughs> and you have to ask Bruno to organize your study I did not do any of this the chaos in front of me is me the neatness behind me is my husband hey Wendy good to see you yes so and if you would like to hire Bruno he comes at a high cost because I need him <laughs> Living in the US, people don't understand why I laugh when I say it. <laughs> I st I'm still going to laugh. I adore Miranda Hart. Yes. It's now R-I-N. Uh, 
Grounded in Nature. I'll just rename it Grounded in Nature. <laughs> so, yes, I loved your face when you were telling Sarah Douglas, Ellen. You're like, Sarah, it means something else here. <laughs> and her face. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> anyway, it gives us a good laugh. We're, we're pretty good. We've got a pretty good humor here in Australia. I think we're pretty easygoing. Good morning, Corinne. Good to see you. Hey, Tanya. So let me flip you around and we're going to make this card together. I've done a little bit of it because, you know, I know you don't want to hang around forever watching me make cards. <laughs> ah, you Googled it, Janet. <laughs> yes, have sex in nature. That's what it means here in Australia, Wendy. Rooted means have sex. Correct. Yes. <laughs> yes yeah go google it <laughs> there's another there's another version but we'll just say have sex yeah hi tanya good to see you google it wendy google it <laughs> so yes let's flip you over we've we've definitely won't get over this rooted in nature it's going to take a while i think <laughs> But, you know, we've, we've got a good laugh. We'll have a good laugh out of it. <laughs> so here we go. Let's flip this. And flip this. Oops. That, let's hope it's the right way. Yes, it is. Oh, you can see my little Dymo label, label maker because it's the best thing ever. If you don't have one demonstrators please make sure you go and get one because it's the bomb oh and remind me too i've got some random act of kindness cards too to show you i have to make sure i show those before we finish up so let's have a look oh i better move my stamparatus project out of the way don't want you girls peeking at that one so let's do a little bit of a tidy tidy as Miranda would say look at all this look at all this such a messy crafter how does my husband live with me one of us has to be tidy right so I'll shine some nice bright light on there hopefully that you can see that uh it is the label writer 450 Alia <laughs> Bruno, stop saying it. Can you zoom a bit? I don't know how to zoom in. Oh, stop saying it. <laughs> okay, here we go. It's like, please don't say rooted in nature anymore. Yeah, it is the backs of the dimensionals and a little bit of a doily there as well few other random pieces so I've already done my sentiment I did that I pre embossed that one so that you didn't have to wait around and all I've done is I've got my piece here which if you have a look at the measurement here it's 10.5 by 6 is my whisper white and that's in centimeters sorry to all my imperial peeps and this one I've done just three millimeters larger. So 10.8 by 6.3. No, it's not the new gray, but it's very nice, isn't it? I should actually try the space gray. Is it space gray? No, I'm thinking of apple. Gray granite, that's right. No, I haven't I haven't tried the gray granite. I think I should get in a comparison out now. You've got me wanting to have a look at it, Bruno. I got neutrals here. I do. I've got a pack of neutrals here. So can I pick which one is the grey granite? I know it's the first Petra. I'm organised. <laughs> so we know that one. We know that that's the basic grey. So this is grey granite here. And then if you look at the grey granite in comparison to Smoky Slate. It's a very nice colour. It's like slate. You're watching the wrong video, Priscilla. 
I know, I said space gray. <laughs> Hi, Priscilla. <laughs> yeah, so the, the gray granite, is gray granite nice with, I think it's very nice with the mint macaron, actually. Yeah, it's very nice. So it's got, yeah, it's got sort of a, a brown tone to it. That is a very nice new ink color. Thank you for bringing that up, Bruno, because um, I didn't think to compare that. So let's do some stamping. I'm going to use Mint Macaron and the Basic Grey. So in the background, I'm just going to use my Mint Macaron. Remember, open like a makeup case or a flip top phone, either one. Now, which one should I use? I think I'm going to stick with the same one because there's a lot of different ones here that I could use, but I really like how this one's quite geometric and it feels like more modern for me out of all of them. It's this one here. Is it a lily? Would we call it a lily? Oh, Christy, you're the best. You went and said, Priscilla, where are you? You're in the wrong place. It's nice to have, to have you crafting at my breakfast table. Oh, that's nice. I'm glad you like the combo. So all I'm going to do is just, because I'm doing it in mint macaron, it's just going to be like a light a background image that's not going to overpower too much, but give it a nice, nice look in the back. You can use Versamark if you wanted to. Totally up to you. And you can stamp off too, because this is actually a lot darker than I expected, but it will work. And then a bit there, because we're going to be covering that middle section. But anyway, I'll just put a little bit there just in case it overlaps. So that's our base. Very simple. And then we've got our next little layer here. And I'm just going to come in again with the mint macaron. I'll just move it off its base and just stamp the background. A little bit in the corners. And then I will come in with my basic grey. And this would also look, I've used Whisper White, but it would also look um, very nice with a very vanilla too. You could use either. I actually might do one more mint macaron there. I've got some emergency ba baby wipes here. Look at that. I find um, since I've been using this Stamparatus, I'm using um, baby wipes a lot more now. <laughs> like I'm like, oh, I'll set up the, the scrub soon. And then I end up just using the baby wipes. It's nice and handy for something quick. But... It doesn't clean as well as the stamp and scrub, that's for sure. And a little bit there. So let's have a look here. And once we place it on here, oh, sorry, it's a bit bright. That's a bit better. So we'll place it on here. And it looks very busy, but. Once we add this sentiment on, you can see how it just softens the whole thing. Yeah, stamp a mist. So let's just glue all that down. I decided to put this directly onto the card with no dimensionals, but you could use dimensionals and then dimensionals again if you wanted to. So you're having sort of a few layers. Stick that on there. I'm getting a few thumbs up. How nice. And then we'll do some more here. There we go. Line that up as close as you can. And of course, I've cut this at 10.5. Clean with the scrub, then baby wipes cleans up the clear mount much better that's a good idea and yes that's true there is a new stamp cleaner 
and we need some dimensionals. I don't think we have any open. Bruno's clearly been in the stamp room again. Using my dimensionals. Look at this. This is the evidence. Oh, yeah, we've got a few here. I do like to use the, the end bits. Does everyone make sure that they use the whole thing up? I do. I like to make sure that I'm not wasting anything. And these are actually really good for the when you're doing a straight line. <laughs> everyone likes the <laughs> Bruno. <laughs> You've been using dimensionals. Oh, it's Bruno. <laughs> so you could just put it in the middle, but yeah, up to you where you place it. And it's good using this because it's like freebies. It's like extra bits. Ta-da! Bruno would cover that and that as well, wouldn't you, Bruno? You use those bits too? Oh, that's good. Yeah, we don't want to waste them. All right, Bruno, I'm putting them in the bin. <laughs> I can I can feel his death stares through the through the camera. <laughs> oh yes, that purple cleaner that we saw it on stage. It's like a did they call it the stamp and chamois or something? Anyway, there is our card. Isn't that beautiful? And of course. I think we need to do the inside, right? Of course we do. We always do the inside of our cards because it just looks so much prettier. Oops, knocking things over here. So, come in with the trimmer. I've got some sad news about my trimmer. I have no idea how I did it. I just was opening it up the wrong way and I snapped it. Here. I snapped the arm. Has anyone else done that? I was very sad because I've had this trimmer for a very, very long time. So yes, I, I mourned the stamp this um stamp and trimmer's arm being hurt. I felt very bad for not looking after it. Poor little trimmer. So let's do it at yeah, I'll do 10 centimetres. This is a weird, weird sized piece of paper. It's just a scrap piece. So I don't think I'm going to cut it right, no matter where I cut it. And then 14.4 is the other one that I like to do. So 10 by 14.4. So it's like five um, millimetres taken off the, the card. Boy, the lighting's bad today. It's playing up. And then, very simply, all I'm going to do is come in with my stamp. Make sure that that's cleaned off. Yes, it's looking happy. And stamp it in the mint macaron in the corner. And I might put one up here as well, actually. And I'll take that up a little bit off there. And just do a little soft one. And then do the archival. And an archival over here too. And there we have the little insert. Hey, Jesse. We'll be seeing you tomorrow's. That's all right, Mandy. You asked Jessie, Jessie, how long did it take me for, to do the inside of my cards? Jessie and her sister Beck, they used to make fun of me all the time. They're like, you didn't do the inside. Ta-da! Should we step it up even, even the next layer again? This is something I haven't really done. But I do see others do it and think, I really should do that because it's so beautiful having the full gamut, the full ensemble. Isn't that just so pretty? Look at that. Do the envelope as well. And another one over here. 
Oh, adorable. And there we have our card for today. So you can see how versatile this layout is because if you saw these cards together, you probably wouldn't really know that they were inspired by one another. Just the change of sentiment. Hang on, I'll just change the lighting here. That's a bit better. So yeah, the change of sentiment and colour, the colour change, it does make a big difference. Yeah, super pretty. I don't know if I did the inside on that one. No, I didn't. <gasps> so naughty. See, Mandy, I didn't do the inside of mine. See, here I am saying, do the inside. <laughs> yeah, it's nice, isn't it? Just to dress up the envelope and just put put something that matches it and it all goes together. So I'll just make sure that when I put that in my little random act of kindness card, little um bin that I've got like a, a box I'll just keep it all together so that I make sure that that goes together too yeah they're very good and you could do it with beautiful powder pink or even in the, the new grapefruit grove I think would look really nice with this as well so lots of different ideas now I'm going to flip you over so that I remember to show you these random act of kindness cards that I was given because we all do love random act of kindness. Hey, Rita, good to see you. Ah, oh, hello. How is everyone? You like to dress the envelope as it starts the giving. Oh, that's nice. Now, my little dime and uh, my little archon holder. Ah, oh, that's better. It was going and flipping down, sliding downwards. I just flipped myself over. So thank you for joining me for my crafting today because you are wonderful. Yes, you are. Based on this card here. So you will see them on my blog tonight. You helped me learn flip, didn't you, Christy? I think Christy's because the flip is because of Christy. She taught me how to do that. So they will be on my blog tonight. Uh, so check that out. But there's going to be lots of exciting things this week on my blog. So make sure you're subscribed so that you get them by newsletter, uh, email I should say. Because this week I've got um, something new happening tomorrow. But then also we've got the Go For Grease blog hop. So that will be a lot of fun. She sure is a clever lady. And then Thursday, I've got a new card as well. So there's a lot of exciting things happening on, on the blog. And Friday night's Crazy Crafters highlights. And we always enjoy waiting for the Crazy Crafters because they're so amazing. Uh, it's very simple. It's just in the little, little star. There's like a little wand. I'll put a picture up afterwards anyway, Patricia, and you can have a look. So here are my random act of kindness cards for this week. This one was from the lovely Leanne, who is in my team. And it actually came a, little, a few weeks ago. But we had a good laugh because Leanne actually works at the post office in my area. So whenever I go to the post office, I get to see Leanne and say hello, which is nice. Oh, you got your blog finished today. Good on you, Donna. Um, but the funniest thing was Leanne didn't put a address on the envelope and she just had on the inside Leanne and I was like I think I know which Leanne it is and the only thing that actually helped me investigate which Leanne it was is because I saw the stamp like the stamp on the top of the stamp said Werribee post office and I'm like it has to be Leanne from the post office in my team she got a good laugh out of this because she's like I work at the post office I didn't even fill out the envelope properly so anyway, thank you, Leanne, and I'm really happy that I worked out it was you. If anyone else has this random act of kindness card that has just one name, Leanne, you'll know who it's from, Leanne Robinson. <laughs> this was doing investigation work. <clears throat> now, this was from the lovely Valerie. Valerie McDonald is also in my team, and she just wanted to send me a card to thank me for her gift from on stage. 
um, that she really enjoyed our lanyards and the company of the crazy crafters, that she had an amazing, amazing time at on stage. And yeah, from the looks of her her um letter, she said, I thoroughly enjoyed my first on stage experience and it was great to meet some of my team members in the in the crazy crafters and the wild cards because she's one of my level two or three. So yeah, it was very nice. She said she had an amazing time. She loved coming home with new products and the whole thing was very exciting. So yeah, we agree. <laughs> oh, there you go. Christy got one too. <laughs> so that was nice. Thank you so much, Valor. I'm really happy that you had a great time at uh, on stage. It's not hard to do because it's such an amazing event. And this last one was from Yvette. And Yvette, I got to meet... Very briefly at on stage, it was very overwhelming for me at on stage this time. Oh, you're going on a 26 day cruise. Wow. So this is a vet tour, T O R R, -R. and a vet is a demonstrator in Australia. So thank you, a vet. That was very sweet of you to come and say hello and also to send me a random act of kindness card as well. Love it. I was very excited to receive that. She said, um, it was lovely to meet you briefly at on stage on Saturday. Have a great day, Yvette. Thanks, Yvette. Really appreciate it. So that is us. Wow, how quickly time goes. We've got a card made. We're updated with the latest things. Countdown is on for my for my beautiful customers. Uh, the beautiful, oh my goodness, amazing um, Share What You Love bundle will be coming on the 1st of May. So make sure that's on your shopping list, ready to go on the first day so that you don't have to wait too long for postage. I hate waiting for delivery. So I'm like, quick, get in first. So it comes quicker. <laughs> I'm not sure it works, but anyway, <laughs> I'll run with that. So that Share What You Love bundle, there'll be three bundles. And also there's going to be an opportunity to get the new in colors as well. So you can have one of three bundles. You can have the beginners or I want a little bit more or I want it all. I went for I want it all because I do. I want it all. Um, so that's the third bundle. And then there's the inks as well. And you get 10% off the inks, which is very good, getting it in a bundle. So that's a great little thing happening on the 1st of May. So keep an eye out for that. I'll keep you updated by newsletter anyway. But thank you all for being here. Me too, too. <laughs> so have a lovely, lovely week ahead. If you have any questions, please let me know. If you haven't seen Stampin' Up! before and you've got no idea what I'm showing, but you think it's really nice, please message me and let me know. I can get a catalogue out to you. And thank you for everyone supporting and commenting. We should draw a winner. So make sure you comment now. I won't draw it live, but I will draw a winner. Because I've got a cool kit here that I'll just go and grab. So make sure you comment now. Uh, where are we? Here it is. Dun, 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 dun. Who wants to win this? A whole kit. And it's the Colour Me Happy kit. Even though we don't have blends at the moment, um, we definitely can use all the other colouring tools. So, yeah. Put a comment down. And we'll draw a winner using Woo Woo Box, is it Bruno? Anyway, Bruno knows. We'll we'll um announce it after the live is finished. So keep commenting. Oh, Bruno's gonna draw it. Thanks, Bruno. Oh, Sarah Matthews, quick put a comment, Sarah. You might win a win a kit. <laughs> <laughs> so yes I really appreciate you all watching thank you thank you I'm glad you like the card I do I do I do yes I'm very happy with that thank you for crafting with me live and enjoy your afternoon Maria that's good have a craft noon nice craft noon tea <laughs> you'd love to be in to win I'm glad yes it is an awesome kit this one Yes, aqua painters, ink pads. We've got the watercolour pencils. We've got blender pens. There's all sorts of ways that you can colour this in. Yes, it's a good giveaway, isn't it? <laughs> Hi, Sarah. <laughs> Bruno, pick me, pick me. <laughs> but 
anyway, I'll let you know. As soon as I finish this, we'll put up a big notice. The winner is... And we'll tell you. Based on the comments that have been left. And feel free to share with your teams or friends or whoever you like that you think will enjoy the crafting session we had today. And thank you for joining me. And we'll speak very soon, I'm sure. We'll see you next week. Same time, same place. Bye, everyone. Mwah. See you.